All right, motherfuckers, this is Master Marks, and I'm coming back with another motherfucking goddamn live video. And let's just get straight into it. Shout out to the motherfucking AEW Pack Smokers. Today's video is simply titled Carmelo Hayes is the future. He is the fucking future. Melo don't miss. Now, the thing about Carmelo Hayes, Carmelo Hayes is he's a little bit shorter um, than, you know, the most average size, some of those tall guys in the WWE. But that dude, man, to be honest with you, that dude is a charismatic fucking dude, man. He's got it all. He's got the look. He's got charisma. Um, he's in really good shape. He can talk on the mic. He has swag. Like, how many fucking wrestlers do y'all know in the business right now wearing Cartier frames? Carmelo Hayes is. Shout out to Trick, too. Trick is pretty cool. He's going to be something as well. We'll talk about him down the line. But today's video is just only based about based on Carmelo Hayes. Now, I don't know if you would necessarily consider him homegrown talent. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure he has been a little bit in the Indies or whatever, but when it comes to his aesthetic, um, when it comes to his character, man, if you put a guy like MVP with Carmelo Hayes, he can easily be he can easily be a fucking superstar. He's a star. The dude's a star. He's a star. He is a star. He's more charismatic than any person in AEW and in Impact. Matter of fact, he's more charismatic than most wrestlers in all of wrestling. The dude is just, he's just walking fucking charisma. Just swag, charisma, character, a little bit of arrogance. When he talks, you believe it. You believe Melo don't miss. He don't fucking miss. The dude, now, I mean, I get it. Listen, he does flips and shit like that. Sometimes he does a little bit of work rate shit, but that is not the defining piece of him. Like, this guy is the future. He's, he's, he, and I don't know if he could be considered a heavyweight champion in the future. I don't know if he can be just considered a, a, a really strong upper mid cut upper mid card type of guy but the dude has a future he is the future he's charismatic as fuck now if you were building a company right now and you were just building that company out of just young guys not older guys not guys who have a big tenure in the business not guys who didn't fuck a bunch of ring rats we're talking about just young fucking guys we already know Brian Breaker is going to be the number one guy you're going to go after. And the number two guy has to be Carmelo Hayes. It has to be him. And I feel like in my head, for the future of WWE, it is very smart for Carmelo Hayes and Brian Breaker to feud. Because down the line, when guys like Roman are gone and The Miz are gone and, uh, and Randy are gone and all of the top rope uh, fucking... Not top rope. Yeah. Yeah. All of the top rope work rate guys are gone. That feud between Brian Breaker and Carmelo Hayes of who is really the future is a big thing that they're going to need. It'll come. It'll come sooner or later, but we don't necessarily know how far that is away, but it will come. It will definitely come. Now, the thing about Melo is. I don't know, man. It's just some guys, when you look at them in wrestling, they just fucking ooze out charisma. It's just like some females, not a lot of females, but like like I, was, I did a video about Bianca Belair, right? Bianca Belair is the longest running African-American champion in the business. You know? So like Bianca Belair didn't already got star status. We're not talking about Bianca Belair. We talked about her yesterday. But I just when I think of Carmelo Hayes, I think of Bianca Belair. You know, like he's like the male 
the male counterpart counterpart of that. Montez Ford isn't the he Montez Ford is charismatic, but um of course Montez Ford is he's he's a bigger guy. Like he's big as hell. Um so he he's but when it comes down to like that almost homegrown talent type of thing, that's why I think of Carmelo Hayes and compare him to Bianca Belair. Carmelo Hayes, he got it, man. He's ready. He's main roster ready. Now, the fans may not know him a lot, but when he starts talking on the mic, when he starts going out, you know, in front of a 16,000 cro- 16, people crowd, when he when he starts really like getting that exposure, people are going to really realize this dude man, this dude is charisma. He's he's charismatic as fuck. He's the fucking future. Melo don't miss. And this, he's he's on the Masked Up Marks list. There's not a lot of people on the Masked Up Marks list. He's on the list that I that I look at like Wardlow and Powerhouse Hobbs and uh, MJF a little bit, Brian Breaker, Nikita Lyons, Mandy Rose. He's on that Masked Up Marks list. Shout out to the AEW Pack Smokers. Shout out to the Masked Up Marks Militia, by the way, also. Um, he, he's on that list to me, Carmelo Hayes. Because... He just, man, the dude is just fucking charismatic as fuck. And yeah, he does some top rope shit, but his mic work and his charisma outweighs his in-ring. Just seeing him talking to Mike and how he kind of like swag to the ring is more important than him doing those flips and those kicks. It's way more important. I feel like WWE has a gold mine when it comes to wrestlers. Like they have so much young talent that's over there at WWE, you know, that that they're it's gonna be really hard for AEW to ever fucking compete. And I know I was watching a video yesterday about Tony Khan saying something about how they don't spend time, you know, trying to train wrestlers and blah 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 blah. Man, look at how many fucking wrestlers are injured. Adam Page just got fucking injured yesterday. Like, it, when is it going to stop? When is it going to stop? And, and you're just going to take some time and train these motherfuckers how to wrestle, how to talk on the mic, how to be charismatic. Like, when, when is enough enough? Because if you think, Tony Khan, that having all these old fuckers in AEW is going to keep AEW alive, when those guys are gone... And people like MJF and Wardlow and Powerhouse Hobbs, they smarten up and they take their talents to somewhere that they're going to be appreciated at. What the fuck are you going to do? You're not going to be able to compete with Braun Breaker, Carmelo Hayes. Like, you might... What are you going to do? WWE has a gold mine over there. They have a gold mine. They have so many charismatic young guys and gals over there. AEW, y'all in trouble. I told, I told you it was a rise and fail of AEW. Y'all thought I was fucking playing. I'm dead ass serious. It's a rise and fail of AEW because you're not going to be able to compete. You can't compete. There's nobody really on your roster besides like maybe an MJF or a, or a Powerhouse Hobbs, maybe more so MJF and Warlow. But there's nobody on that roster right now, not even their fucking heavyweight champion, is more charismatic than Carmelo Hayes. Has more character than Carmelo Hayes. Nobody. And then when you put him with fucking MVP, and then you transition Bobby Lashley into muscle, and you bring back the Hurt Business, and still keep tricking there, maybe bring back Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander, they're, they're, you're not going to be able to fucking compete. Especially with Melo leading. With MVP on the side. The dude is fucking charisma. He is. He's just charismatic as fuck. He's a good mic talker. He's the future. He's like a gold mine. You get a guy like that every once in a while. But what's going to really... What's really going to determine his future is if he starts to have a Sasha Banks-esque ego. Because if you start having a Sasha Banks-esque ego, that's when shit gets bad. You got to be more like Bianca Belair and, and people who are humble who are just happy to fucking be there. 
Because those are the people that get further in companies. They kind of, you know, you if you know the fucking laws of power, you always know. You never try to outdo the master. You stick to what you know and what you're best at. If you get a higher position, you get a higher position. If you don't, that wasn't your goal in life. But at the end of the day, Carmelo Hayes is really best for business. He's great for business. He's the future of the business. And this is not a Carmelo Hayes is best for business video, but it's just all in one. He's the future. The dude is the fucking future. And honestly, Paul and Sean, as long as they don't fucking ruin him, they got a gold mine in that guy. Johnny Gargano can't fucking do anything like him. He's way more advanced because charisma and character is something that is just in you. To be a charismatic individual is just in you. To be able to cut promos is just in you. To be able to sit in front of a crowd and talk about shit that people really don't even fucking understand, but you make them understand it, it's just in you. Some guys just don't got it. But guess what? Mellow don't miss. This has been Master of Marks. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment, turn on the motherfucking notification bell so you know when we drop every single fucking video. I always want to thank, thank, thank the AEW motherfucking pack smokers, the Master of Marks Militia for supporting us. As always, it's fuck Tony Khan, fuck AEW, Fuck the motherfucking SJWs. Shout out to Carmelo Hayes for being the future. I'm out this bitch. Like, 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 like.